We actually have a potential, I think, of up to 70,000 different drivers at any given point. Predominantly, we'll see student employees, full-time faculty, and staff that will rent our vehicles. For our fleet, we've kind of got two different sections, really. We have what we call our RSTR program, our short-term rental program, which functions a lot like enterprise, national, stuff of that nature, the day, week, and month rentals. Those, we've got about 80 vehicles or so, anything from a sedan up to an F-250 or a transit. 350, something of that nature. Across the campus, we actually support all of the departments here, anywhere from police cruisers to facilities, medium duty trucks to golf carts and that nature. So we've kind of got the full spectrum. Going through so many different versions of softwares over a, it was probably about a seven year period at that point, we went through about three different ones. It was a hard process, honestly, going through trying to recalibrate software for each one, tweak our processes to go with the new software each time. And this one, just people kind of held our process all the way through it from beginning to end. They were always really great answering our questions, helping us find workarounds for some of our, our quirkier processes, especially for our billing and really having the rental software that was fully integrated with the key box. That was one of our main issues. That was a, a major pull for us because we'd actually had to program our previous box before, which left opportunities for human error only during office hours, stuff of that nature. So really the support from Agile Fleet Commander staff, in addition to the software and the key box control were really the main pulls. I've been here about 10 years or so coming up on that point. When I started, we were very much a pen and paper operation with a homegrown software system. It was very manual process. It was very what we've been doing for the previous 20 to 30 years before. Antiquated need to be freshened up. So we've actually gone through several vendors over the last three years before we fortunately ended up with the Agile Fleet Commander product. And it has made life a lot easier on that front, especially for our rental operation and for our billing processes. That was really kind of our main pain points at that point. We do have a lot of parameters on there where we could track information, especially on drivers and kind of valid driver's license, stuff like that. Probably, I'll say three or four years ago, prior to Fleet Commander, we had about 120 vehicles on our fleet at any given point. We were trying to reduce the size of that fleet at that point using some other key box options and stuff of that nature. But until we had the data from Fleet Commander, we, we weren't really able to make educated decisions. A lot of it was anecdotal knee-jerk reactions to just the size of our fleet. but. With the, the information that we were able to gauge on demand from our customers and also the utilization of our fleet, we dropped at about 33% in our fleet size from 120 down to 80 vehicles, which are very highly utilized, but exactly what we need to meet the, the needs here on campus. We have Fleet Commander set up that actually will send out emails to approvers, but it's a passive approval. So we'll go ahead and we'll email the approver, let them know that so-and-so has made a reservation for this date and time, and they'll reach out to us and. If it's not an acceptable expense, they'll reach out and we can cancel it here there, but it's actually never happened. During the three years we've been with Fleet Commander, people are very responsible with the software. They love the communication, and honestly, they, they love the fact that it's minimal communication, honestly, with staff when they do have an issue. We do our billing a little weird. We have tens of thousands of accounts that we deal with, dozens of different general ledger codes and stuff of that nature, but working with our onboarding coach, streamline building that package so that when I do my billing here at the end of the month, I really make a few different clicks, out pops the file that I need, I relay it to the SAP folks and it's it's done. Much easier with, with Fleet Commander. That was one of the, the chafing points we had with the previous vendors. They could never quite get the billing right and we were failing to recover everything that we needed to keep our operation afloat. Our customers love the product. There's no phone calls complaining. There's no issues where we're having to take part in over the phone and stuff like that. It's, I'm sure we could put numbers to it, but the value honestly is just so much higher even than what we could calculate. Even three years in, we're still getting compliments on the process. It's so much easier than what we had done historically. Honestly, we, I'm talking really from more the, the personnel side, but we would always dread Friday afternoons at four o'clock because we would have a stampede of dozens of people coming down to pick up their keys for the vehicles that they needed over the weekend. We don't have to deal with any of that now. It's so much simpler. The onboarding process for users are great. One little link on our website the users will go to, they enter in their information one time, and that's pretty much it. Once we have all their information in the system, 
they're good to go. They can come here, they can make reservations, they can make reservations for other individuals. They accept the policy and everything and at the original account creation or if we do policy updates throughout the year. It's just very well received, honestly, on that end. It takes very little management on our end. One issue that I have with other vendors is as soon as they get you on the hook, they walk away. And that is extremely frustrating on, on the end user side of it because we, we have issues, we have things break down. I'm constantly wanting to try to find better ways to do things or completely different ways to do things, but client success, they're always responsive to my needs if they're not proactively reaching out and discussing things with me on the front end. The peace of mind of the software, especially over the weekend, is immense for me as well. I hate having to work all weekend, getting phone calls where there's issues and stuff of that nature, but our users are really empowered to make the changes that they need to on their end including the grab-and-go feature directly at the kiosk. So if for some reason life does happen and a vehicle's not back in time to meet a reservation's need, our users can just simply essentially make another reservation right there on screen. They're off to the races. No human needs to be involved other than the driver at that point. So it's very much streamlined our operation there and made a better convenience for end users as well. When I started, again, 10 years ago, we had 32 people in this building maintaining the same amount of fleet that we do today. Now we've had several changes throughout the years, process changes as well, attrition over the years, but if we had to all of a sudden walk away from our current setup with Fleet Commander, we would easily have to double our staff, double our costs. Again, in that example, we had four times as many people as we do currently, just over a 10 year period. So I'll say double our current employee count just to maintain our same level of service.